Hello everyone, Lisa here. Today I'm going to show you how to make Windows start up like SteamOS using Playnight or any other launcher. If you're using Playnight, open it, click on the controller icon, and go to settings. Make sure launch in full screen mode is checked, start Playnight when you start your computer is unchecked, and save your changes. Other launchers may have similar settings that will need to be changed. Since the goal here is to have a launcher start before the desktop, you'll want to have the taskbar auto-hide so it doesn't randomly show up. To do this, right-click on the taskbar and go to Taskbar Settings. Then select Auto-Hide Taskbar in Desktop Mode. For Windows 11 users, go to Taskbar Behavior and select Automatically Hide the Taskbar. Now for a seamless experience, we can set up Windows to auto-sign you in. If you're using a Microsoft account, you will need to set up a local account for this. To set up a local account, go to Sign-in Options. Go to Your Info. Windows 11 users will instead have to search for Your Account Info. Now select Sign in with a local account instead. It will show a warning, but you can click Next to continue. You will be prompted to log in with your Microsoft password to confirm. And now you can set up a local account. Fill in the necessary details and click Next. Select Sign Out, wait for Windows to finish signing you out, then sign in with your new account, and go back to Sign In Options. If you don't have a password on your account, you will need to temporarily add one. Then you will see an option for Require Sign-In. Set it to Never. And remove your password. Now Windows will sign you in automatically. With everything prepped, let's get started with the mod itself. First, find Windows Handheld Mod on GitHub or use the link in the description. Download all of the files and use the included link to download FF Play. I ended up changing the link to a Google Drive link since the new versions of FF Play don't work. Then download 7-Zip. This is optional for Windows 11 users. Then download a boot movie. and name it boot.webm. Now go to the Downloads folder and install 7-Zip. Use 7-Zip to extract the GitHub files and F of Play. Windows 11 users can instead right-click and select Extract All. Next, find the ffplay.exe file and move it to your Downloads folder. Now go to the Handheld Mod folder. If you're using Playnight, 
You will need random underscore boot underscore movie dot bat and playnight underscore startup dot bat. If you're using a different launcher, you will need random underscore boot underscore movie dot bat and startup dot bat. Before these scripts can be used, you will need to right click on them, select properties, and unblock them. Now we can move them to the downloads folder. If you're using the startup.bat script, right click on it and select edit. Now find the shortcut for your launcher. I'll use Netmarble as an example. Right click on it and select properties. Then copy everything in the target field and paste it where it says your launcher path. If you're using launch options, remove the extra set of quotation marks. Then scroll down to how long do you need Windows to wait and change the number next to timeout slash T. This will tell Windows how many seconds to wait for your launcher to load before showing the desktop. Now save your changes and copy everything to the videos folder. Now create a folder called boot video. If you're planning on using multiple boot videos, move all of them to the boot video folder. Now when you run the random underscore boot underscore movie dot bat script, the boot dot webm file will be replaced with another video from the folder. This will allow your boot movies to be randomized, just like SteamOS. To install the mod itself, open regedit, and at the top of the window type computer, backslash h key underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash microsoft backslash windows space nt backslash current version backslash win logon and hit enter then right click create a new string value and name it shell Right click on the shell file and select modify. Now find your playnet underscore startup.bat or startup.bat file, right click on it and select copy as path. Windows 10 users will need to hold down the shift key while they right click to see this option. Paste this information into the shell file and click OK. Now restart Windows and watch the magic happen.